Hey, happy Saturday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Happy Sabbath and peaceful Sabbath to everyone on their Sabbath. Now, I'm going to show you the updates on this storm. We have some new info of what could be happening with this system. The tornado threat did not intensify, but it has grown to a bigger area. Pretty much, they don't know where in this line of storms there's going to be a tornado, so they just put almost the whole line under a potential for a spin up or two. So I will give you the detailed information of what you can expect, best timing I can do for you. And we are still getting all that snow and a foot of snow. And HRRR is showing that we could have some more heavy banding for Iowa and Illinois that's not even in the other models. So I will update you on what I have. There's even a potential for a potential blizzard up here while you're getting that snow it's where you're getting all these high winds we're getting cyclogenesis on this surface low it is intensifying after these storms and it's intensifying as it goes up to the upper midwest bringing that snowstorm and is bringing the high winds so it could be some blizzard watches out for that now we will come right back to this real quick and be faster than yesterday i want to show you some information on it because this does still split up to two parts this goes up to the upper midwest does that snowstorm while these storms go down to the south and the southeast. So it will be all over here in the central plains, but later in the evening, maybe a little bit of overnight, it'll be further in the south where it will continue. Now you can see here from our threats that our enhanced section has advanced. And you can see it's also for hail. Hail, you have a significant severe and all this black. That's at least two inches in diameter of hail still, and it has grown, guys. Plus, it's big, 30%. And this 15%, you can't rule out neither because there's a lot of hail cores that go down to the south later on as well. So the whole area needs to watch out for chances for hail. Here's your cities and states that will be affected by the hail. Significant, severe, the largest hail is going to be in that white. Plus, you still have your winds as well. Your winds is all the way up to this 15% up here. You have the 5%. And I see a lot of winds up here. I think that will be upgraded. But you also have this big 30% right here in all this red. So here's your cities and states that's at risk for these high winds. And I do still show a lot of strong high winds for Iowa, northern Missouri, going into Illinois as well. So I do think that will stretch out just a little bit further. Now, your tornado threat has expanded. It hasn't grown in intensity, but it has expanded all the way from the Florida panhandle all the way up towards Illinois with this big 2%. And then you got this big 5% right where this line congeals together. And then the damage and wind gets into effect after that. You have a big 5% chance for your tornado. So here's your cities and states for your chances for tornadoes today. And you can see this with National Weather Service scattered large hail, some near or larger than two and a half inches. Damage and gusts up to 16 to 70 miles per hour and a couple of tornadoes are expected this afternoon, evening from southwest Illinois and southeast Missouri across Arkansas and northern Louisiana. Now these storms will continue for Sunday as well, but there is no tornado threat for Sunday. You will have a slight chance for winds and you will have a slight chance for hail. No tornado threat for Sunday. But here's your cities and states at risk for the wind and the potential hail. And you can see this from National Weather Service. Marginally severe thunderstorms associated with isolated damaging winds and hail will be possible in parts of the southeast and Carolinas, northward into the Appalachians and southern Great Lakes. Now you can see where you lift with your cape that goes all morning into the afternoon. Then you get a strong line that goes all the way from northern Missouri into Illinois. And for days in a row now, I've been seeing strong cells going that way. So it could be either large hail with a strong updraft or a potential tornado. Then as you go later in the evening, it really affects down here for Arkansas. Arkansas gets really strong for northern Louisiana as well. As you go from 8 p.m. all the way until overnight, then it shrinks down by the time you get to 11, just a little bit for Louisiana. But everybody's lift really goes down pretty quickly. And you do have these storms all morning long, no big threat just yet. But once you get into the afternoon, right around 2 and 3 o'clock, we start getting some strong cells from northern Missouri, southeastern Iowa, and those go into Illinois as well. Very strong cells, leaving a long trace behind it of some updraft. Now, once you get to 5 and 6 p.m., then you start getting some strong storms. You still have a broken line, but it still comes together. You still get a lot of bowing out in the system. All down this line, you have a lot of bowing out, even a lot of precipitation right there. So that really could be some large hail that's fallen from that cell. I've seen that two days in a row. Why are you getting some strong storms in the south from Mississippi, all the way from 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock? You still have it. You still have winds pushing behind this, going to the east. 
Why are you starting to get this snow on a wraparound? Now, ACRR is showing something different than National Weather Service, any other model. It is taking it further to the south. So while these storms are still going to the east, as you go from midnight, you still have storms down here from Mississippi and Louisiana before that lift finally disappears and it's just for Louisiana all the way to 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning. Then that starts weakening down. But then you have all this snow that's coming down. You have overnight temperatures coming in, a strong surface low, swinging counterclockwise, pulling these cold temperatures down. So southern Minnesota, western Iowa, early in the morning, potential heavy banding while you're still getting these storms. Could even see some thunder snow out of this, believe this or not, in April. Now these storms are going all even long into early a.m., no tornado threat, all you lift is all down here. But this snow will transition as you go into tomorrow morning. Starting to get some heavy banding for Iowa, going into Illinois as well, all the way until tomorrow night. Then it gets heavy for Wisconsin and it starts moving further on. So ACRR is showing some very heavy banding coming out of this system. Now, when you look at your significant tornado primers, let you know your dew points, your wind shear, put all these factors into play with these storms. You can see it gets really strong down here for Louisiana, also parts of Mississippi as you go through the early afternoon. In Louisiana, you are getting a couple of rounds. You're going to get these storms first, then you're going to get the banding that's going to come across after that. But you can see from Missouri going into Illinois from 3 to 5 p.m., you get some really strong cells that come through. You have some instability, you have some shear, and you have strong dew points. But it starts dissipating once you go from 7 o'clock, it starts going further south to southern Missouri. And once you go to 8 o'clock, it starts going down towards Arkansas. So southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana, you actually have the strongest tornado perimeters out of all this. So that's all the way from 8 to 10 p.m. Then it goes further to the south, a little bit of Mississippi, but it really dissipates after that. So when you look at our helicity values, shows the updraft, shows the potential strong storms a lot of large hail you can see these storms really spark off right around six and seven o'clock you get some strong cells going into illinois also for southern missouri and as you go later in the evening it keeps going further and further south it goes into southern missouri it goes across arkansas you get a little strong cell right there as well northern louisiana then it goes into mississippi all the way into the early morning hours a lot of strong storms but i've been seeing a strong cell signature all the way into illinois for two days in a row from ACRR. but any one of these cells could easily spin up a tornado it will be rain wrapped it will be a rogue cell it will be hidden within this line of storms so it's hard to point out when and where that will happen but it is showing that that line of storms is strong all the way from illinois southern missouri all across central and eastern arkansas and northern louisiana going into jackson mississippi as well so you have a little strong area here and those storms that went off towards southern alabama panhandle florida they stayed in the gulf so that didn't show true for today so that's why i like the new info the new info always tells you everything but right around 5 and 6 p.m you'll also get some strong cells for Arkansas, Missouri, and Illinois, and these are showing a lot of damage and winds. Starts going from 60 to 70. Now that's a spike of 80 right there. Take that with a grain of salt. We don't know if that is true or not, but we do know there is high winds, 60s and 70s. I have seen a lot of very high 50s. Let's just leave it at that. But once you go to 7 and 8 p.m., you can see how these storms just bring all these winds all the way to 11 o'clock at night across southeastern Missouri, across Illinois, southern Wisconsin, and across Arkansas and northern Louisiana. This whole line right here is bringing 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. It is showing a high of 81, but let's just keep it 50s and 60s. It could be some low 70s in there. And then once you hit midnight, it continues to push to the east. But then you start getting your snow for tomorrow. And when you get that snow for tomorrow, it really brings your winds in with it. So you're going to get a lot of snowfall. Then you're going to get the winds coming with it. So it could be a good chance for maybe some blizzard conditions. That's a potential. It all depends how long you are getting this drifting snow, the snow blowing sideways with the winds. It has to be at least three hours to get a potential blizzard warning. But you do see all day long with the surface low pressure is bringing these storms but once you go into later tonight and tomorrow tomorrow is when you're getting cyclogenesis and that storm starts intensifying it starts getting a low pressure even lower 
all the way for that snowstorm, all the way down to a 991. So it's showing that it's, it's going to be intensifying. It's going to be cyclogenesis. That's why you get in the winds, but it's also bringing your snowfall. And we can only see 48 hours of HRRR, but it's showing around 2 o'clock in the morning. It's going to start hitting Minnesota, Iowa. But once you go towards tomorrow afternoon, then it really gets that heavy band across eastern Iowa, northern Illinois, and western Wisconsin. A real hot spot, and it's up to 15 inches in some of this pink area. But it's definitely a big hot spot, and it is different with each model. National Weather Service model shows that you'll get this much snow. It's not coming that far down. It's not going to be that heavy banding. Now, HRRR is a higher resolution model. It's the best one that we do have. But this is what National Weather Service has for you. But when you look at the Euro and you look at GFS, you can see with the Euro, this is your 60. This is the update. The Euro and the GFS is almost the same, showing that you definitely going to get a foot of snow. You could even get two feet of snow somewheres in that heavy band and you can see with gfs it's almost exactly the same guys two feet of snow possible in this region so as we take a closer look at it, we can see right around three o'clock we started getting these storms in the south and these storms are going to come by twice you're going to be getting them early in the afternoon for louisiana and southern mississippi and then later on when that Line of storms comes through. You're going to have it for northern Louisiana going into Louisiana and Mississippi again later tonight into the early afternoon. So you're going to have two rounds of storms in the south, and you have a lot of nasty little hail cores coming with those. So just be aware of that. But once we go from 4 to 5 p.m., then we're going to start seeing these nasty hail cores. So let me show you in the north first, and I'll show you in the south. You can see these nasty hail cores that's coming with these cells. As all this pushes from 5 to 6 to 7 p.m. you get a lot of bowing out in that you really need to watch out for these winds been seeing a lot of high winds for days as you go through seven eight o'clock then it's going through illinois nine o'clock still bringing a lot of strong winds with this all even long 10 o'clock and then 11 o'clock now you see how the storms dissipate quickly that's because you lost all you lift up here, and now these storms are in the south. So once you hit 11 o'clock, really 10 o'clock, these storms are going to dissipate in Ohio Valley, lower Great Lakes, but you're still going to have them. It's just not going to be a tornado threat. And then once you go to 3 o'clock in the morning, you still got storms in eastern Iowa, while potential snow in western Iowa as these go through Illinois and Wisconsin all the way until tomorrow morning. Then you get that heavy banding that comes in for tomorrow. So I will update you on that snowfall for tomorrow. It's really too far to be sure even now. We're only a day away, but there's just a lot of disagreement. Only the Euro and GFS are agreeing with each other. But you can see also it's bringing a lot of these winds. You can see the big old ripping out of these bands. There's still a lot of winds that's pushing behind this storm for tomorrow as well. So that's why you're in that chance for winds and your chance for hail as tomorrow comes along but it will not be tornadic and you see as you go through seven o'clock you still have them going through eight o'clock that line congeals all down arkansas then once you go to nine o'clock it starts stretching into louisiana look at this nasty line of hail cores all the way down this is by nine o'clock tonight and you're getting them offshore in the west bank in new orleans as you go through 10 it goes further to the south still have a nasty line of hail cores in this but it's going to keep going further and further south now you're losing your instability in the north but right at 10 o'clock look at these hail cores going all down this line all down illinois is going all down eastern arkansas into northern louisiana so this is really going to be a nasty line of storms as you go through 11 o'clock, it's still there, but now it's dissipated in Ohio Valley. You have storms, but you don't have tornado risk. And as you go through midnight, it's going through Mississippi, it's going through Louisiana. You still got this nasty line of storms, western Tennessee. As you go through midnight, you still got these storms, still got hail cores in them as it passes by Jackson. And as you go into the early morning hours, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, you still got these storms passing by the south and the southeast. Now, your tornado risk will be gone by then, but you can see you still have hail cores all the way into the gulf as this comes by early in the morning so you do got a lot of storms passing through i believe your tornado risk will wild down once you hit around 10 and 11 o'clock still a lot of pushing out a lot of damage and winds potential behind it a lot of chances for hail so that's still going to be a big thing i believe this storm is going to be a big damage and wind event and a big large hail event with a few tornadoes inside i don't think it's going to be any outbreak by any chance, I think the large hail and the damaging winds will be enough with this storm. So from what I can see from this system that it is going to have damaging winds, it is going to have large hail, and it could be a few tornadoes as well as this 
snowstorm that's coming. But I do see that it's going to be more of a potential damaging winds and large hail event. I don't see this as any kind of tornado outbreak, but we still can't see quite where these tornadoes can be. Be careful of going from Missouri into Illinois. Those cells will be strong also for southern Arkansas and northern Louisiana. You have the strongest of all the readouts for your chances for tornadoes. Just be aware of that as well. Deuteronomy 31.6. Be strong and of good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doeth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Amen. Now I have talked to Ryan. He's not sure if a live stream is going to be warranted. He is going to be on standby. So far it's just looking like that, guys. Looking like a damaging wind event and a large hail event but he is going to be on standby if something happens he will go live he will keep you safe i will put his live stream up here in the corner so you can go click on it go subscribe to him he is a great guy and he does great coverage on these live streams he saves a lot of lives guys so god bless you and your families may you have a very blessed day today and remember all glory always goes to god our father in heaven yahweh and I pray no tornadoes come out this evening. I pray that everyone will be okay from this storm. And that's just what it's going to be. It's just hail and some possible winds and not really a big tornado serious event. So thank you so much for your time. God bless every single one of you. And remember, God will keep you safe. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you all.